Okay, 2019 Chevy Silverado with a 5.3 and the 6L80 Trans. All right, I just finished it up and it got installed today. Actually, it was on the bench a while because parts are a little tough to get. I had to wait for the, the Tecum, I don't know, three or four days, had to wait for that. The converter was a couple of days out. But everything came together, everything showed up. I finished the transmission, installed it in the car. Uh, now we have to do the programming. And that is the reason for this video. So just to let you know, it's a 19 Chevy Silverado 5, 302,000 miles. Guy does a lot of driving. And uh, the problem was probably an issue with the converter because when I was going through the pan had some metal in it, the filter had some metal on top. And when I took the Tecum, when I separated the Tecum from the valve body, uh, looked at the screen, and a couple of those screens were actually clogged with, with metal and debris and stuff. I didn't see much, uh, I didn't see much uh, clutch problem, you know, anything inside the transmission, so it had to be the converter. So we flushed it all out, uh, made everything nice, and now it's time to program the transmission. So Chevy or General Motors has the TDS, the Technical Delivery System, and it's, it's SPS, which is Service Programming Systems. But now they have Service Programming Systems too. So they kind of revamped the whole thing, and I used it. They did this probably uh, maybe three or four months ago, and I didn't really know. So when I first, when I had a, I had a, um, I had a Chevy Express van towed here from another shop for programming. So I said, okay, you know, bring it in, no problem. And uh, I turned the computer on, was going through the, all the, going through the, the whole, all the steps, all the prompts, all of a sudden it comes up with, you know, launch SPS2, you know, something I've never seen before. So. Uh, there was a video to watch. I had to download it, and then I kind of just figured out, you know, how to how to do it. It's really it's really nice. You know, it's a nice, um, uh, re, you know, nice uh, system, revamp system. So I'm gonna put my laptop on. I'm very limited for space at home, but I can get the camera right onto the computer screen, and from you know, I'll sign on, and then from you know, the time of sign on, we'll walk through. Uh, program it. It should have the steps. You know, you should come to uh, where you have to download the new SPS2, and there's a video you can watch. So I recommend that because I watched it. And of course, you're gonna have to. Uh, well, you know what? I didn't have to. Um, it already. It already. Since I just downloaded the new one, it already had my pass-through connector on there, so I just have to click on my pass-through connector. Uh, and then, and then you know, it'll, it'll do the programming. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get set up uh, with the laptop, I'm gonna get everything set up over by the truck, and I have my battery maintainer ready to go, and then we'll see if we can't uh, walk through this together, the new SPS2 TDS technical delivery system. All right, so let me get set up. I'm going to get the computer on. I'm going to sign on, and I'll kind of go from right after I sign on. All right, so let me get going with that, and I'll be back in a few minutes, and we can walk through this and program it together. All right, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I signed in. And it had the terms of, I had to agree to the terms, which you can't go any further until you do, so I agreed to that. And then it popped up, there was a Java update, so I updated the Java because that's what this runs on. If I hadn't, when going, you know, right before we were gonna go through the program, it probably would have made me update to the latest version. Okay, so here, it shows the subscriptions. I have one available. Okay. So we're gonna go over here to view. All right, and we are going to scroll down to where it says add VIN, okay? 
right here. If it Okay, so here is, it's called TechLine Connect. So here you can download TechLine Connect if you don't have it, or you can launch TechLine Connect if you already have it. Okay, so we are going to launch it. Alright, so it's checking, it, it does checking, it does updating, right there, kind of, while you're waiting. So it goes through this all, all the time. If there's any updates, it's going to do it right there. So it says checking lease, checking for software update, downloading updates. One active download. So it really has to do that before we can continue to the next page. So we're at 62%. I don't have the key on yet of the vehicle. I'm going to put it on in a, in a few minutes. Alright, we're at 85%, 90%, just about done. Okay. So there's no active downloads at this moment. TechLine Connect will check for updates. Now right now it goes, now I guess it's checking again. But it goes through this every time that this happens. I kind of just wanted to go through, you know, the whole thing with you. I know this might, you know, possibly take a little bit of time, but this is what um, what happens. The setup must update files. Cannot be. The services that cannot be updated while the system is running. If you choose to continue, a re reboot will be required to complete setup. Well, Let's see what happens here. If I have to reboot, I'll just get back to the page that we were at. Now service programming 2, that's the SPS 2. Please wait while well, Windows configures SPS 2. Alright, so let's see what happens after this. If we have to if I have to do a reboot, then I'll just um, you know put you guys on hold, reboot it, and kind of go from there. Let's see what's going to happen next. So when I first did it, you know, I downloaded the TechLine Connect. And there was a video that I watched also. Okay, let me turn the key on. Now we're going to hit to connect to the vehicle. Those are recent vehicles that I did. 
So let's connect to the vehicle. All right, so I have the universal reprogrammer. All right, we're gonna hit continue. All right, so it's loading. It is a 19 Silverado, white, has the build date, has the delivery date. Okay, so that's with that screen. Now we're gonna come up here. We're gonna make sure our VIN number is correct. Let's just make sure that. Let's get the last four, take a fast look. Okay, that looks good. All right, now we're gonna click on um, Universal Reprogrammer. And let's click to dis disconnect. Okay, so we don't want that. We want to click over here. SPS2. Okay, so this is the VIN. This is my pass-through connector. I got no messages. Uh, this is the information on the car. And then we're going to go to SPS2. Okay. All right, now we're going to come over here and we're going to do this little drop down menu. And we're going to put replace and reprogram because there's a brand new tech in there. Okay, and I'm going to go down uh, lower uh, right and we're going to click next. Right now, we're going to click on the module that we want. That would be transmission control module. So let's uh, scroll down. Okay, there it is, all the way to last one. Transmission control module. Okay, and we're going to click next. Warning, the current vehicle will take one of your available VIN slots, which is fine, because I, I buy like two or three at a time, and I used a few of them already, so this is the last one. I gotta buy a few more. It is $40 per car, and you have access to the car for 24 months. Okay, so we're gonna proceed. All right, if you can hear the chime, it is connecting to the vehicle. Okay. All right, so we got operating system, transmission, diagnosis. All right, so we want all that. So it's just going to click on next. Okay, we got some calibrations. We're going to go through also. That'll all uh, be done in the programming. Transmission, transmission, diagnostic. Okay, so we're going to start programming. Okay, they're downloading the calibrations to the server, and now we are reprogramming. So we'll just wait for the bar to move across here. And we'll see how much time there is, because then I'll put you guys on hold as it's programming. And you see on the side here, we got downloading is checked, verified is checked, and a reprogram is not checked because right now the bar is starting to move across. All right, so we'll leave it for a few minutes. I'll, I'll uh, put you guys on hold until there's a few minutes left. All right, because it's saying uh, right now 19 minutes, uh, 17 minutes. So you don't really have to watch the, you know, the bar go across. And nothing's really going to be happening other than that. All 
so we got 12 minutes. All right. So let me put you guys on hold one second, and I'll be right back. All right, so we got about two minutes left on the programming. All right, so I have, of course, I have the key on, and the park, the transmission isn't parked, but the park is not highlighted because, of course, the programming is not through yet. Once the programming gets through, the park should highlight. Uh, the car does start. You, I did bring it around to this bay, of course, and fail safe because uh, there is really no programming in the module. Uh, but when it's done, you'll hear it. It should chime, and that park is going to light up. So that's how I know that the programming went through. And then, of course, over here, it'll say uh, reprogram. It should have a check mark. And then it'll give you an option to erase the DCTs, you know, if there are any. And that's, you know, that would be it. That would be the, the programming. So it's a little different, not a bad setup. You know, I do uh, recommend watching the video. I had watched it, you know, I don't know, I think it's 15, 20 minutes long, and then you download it, it takes you all through it, and you just gotta make sure that you have the system requirements that they're looking for. I believe it's Windows 10 Pro, 64-bit, and they want some Intel processor, a certain number or, or higher. But you can get all that, you know, you go to the, you go to the website and, and you should be able to see system requirements. So I bought this laptop just for, you know, the shop for programming and stuff like that. Okay, so we're coming to the end. We got about two seconds left. You might hear a chime. Okay, I don't know if you heard that, but the park is now highlighted. All right, the reprogramming is done. All right, now down here, it says proceed with the same bin, but we don't have to program anything else. You can start a new one or you can clear the DCT, so that is what we'll do. the chime, then it's communicating. All right, DCTs have been successfully cleared. Not all DCTs may be cleared with this button. Please do not use DCT function on a TechLine Connect dashboard if necessary. All right, so that is fine. So we'll hit OK, and that's it. The programming is done, and that is the new service programming system 2 called TechLine Connect. Um, you know, it can be a little confusing at first, but you basically just download it, watch the video, uh, follow the prompts, make sure your job is up to date, follow the prompts, and it should take you right through it. It's really not, not that bad to do. All right, so we just programmed a 2019 uh, Chevy Silverado with a 5.3 6L80 trans. And tomorrow morning, we'll just take it on a road test. So my park is now illuminated, and we are good to go. All right, guys, so the, that is it. I hope um, I really want, was trying to get this for you and I finally got it. So it's the new, again, TechLine Connect SPS2. Uh, thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll see you next one.